Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do something I'm pretty excited about and that is to try a different drawing tablet brand than Wacom because I've been using Wacom for the longest time and XP Pen actually contacted me a week ago and asked me to review their XP Pen drawing tablets. So let's get into it. All right, I it's a bit tricky to film the unboxing view because uh, the box is really big and my tripod is not big enough but this should be working fine um, the box is really big as you can see this is the 16 pro so it's a little bit bigger than my 13 inch um, Wacom tablet and I got the cheapest Wacom tablet that's the one I'm using currently for work so I'm really excited to see how this is compared to my Wacom. Of course I'm not going to compare it that well much because this is of course a lot cheaper than the Wacom. This is retails for around £400 and around $500 US dollars. So the price difference from the Wacom is a big and I'm hoping that this is a very good startup tablet for anyone who wants to start drawing on their screen and don't want to get the big one because the big one takes up a lot of space because I've been owning that for a while as well. So let's just get into it. I'm sorry I'm talking so much. I'm just really excited to see what's inside this box. Whoa, it's more cardboard. <laughs> and what do we have? Am I opening for the wrong side? No, I'm not. So here's a little baggie. Let's open the baggie. See what is inside. So you get a screen cleaning cloth. I don't know what you call them, but they're really good. Thank you for supporting XP Pen. I'm not gonna read through this right now. We are gonna go right into the actually opening. Okay. Oh, that's heavy. Got a little box. Okay. In here we get a glove. Um, I use these for my drawing tablet already when I draw on either my iPad or my Wacom so this is really handy and I'm really happy it comes with that. We got a pen, it looks really good, I'm excited. We got more cables, I'm going to figure out what these are. I think these are charging cables for the pen. That is one difference from the Wacom but with the price difference I don't think I will mind at all because I have to charge my iPad Pro pen anyway. The same kind of thing. This is for the socket. More socket things. And here, what is this? We got... Oh my god, the cloth is not letting me get it out. We got... Nibs! Oh, okay, we got eight pen nibs in here, I think. Yes! And then, on the other side, I think this is a... Oh, there's another pen! What, you get two pens? Alright, I don't mind. Let's put that to the side. I should probably put it back in the box, but I'm too excited. I just want to open this. Ooh! It comes with a stand attached. And here we go. Here is our tablet. First off, what I see is it is thicker than the one I have, but it also has the stand built in. How do you move the stand? Okay, let's just get rid of the box. It's really weird how it's even focusing. I think it's focusing on me in the screen, which is fun. And I'm just going to go through the instructions and I'll come back and we will install the driver for the tablet. Alright, so I'm just going to go in and install the driver from the website and I think it's pretty straightforward just like any other tablet that you need to... Okay, so it's downloading and I've just thrown all my paper on the side because I'm so excited to get this to work. So I have my tablet here and I thought, well, I can just start these are chargers for the pen. I hope that the pen is already charged, but we'll, we'll see. I have HDMI, HDMI. So it works pretty much the same way as with my um, Cintiq. You do need to put an HDMI for the screen and then a USB for the touch for you to allow you to actually draw on the tablet. So here's... I'm not even going to connect that right now. So you ha do have three cables to keep track of, um, but it's not that bad. Let's see how it works. There we go. So 
out I have three cables coming out of this side of the display. So when it comes to Cintiqs, you have to set up your screens properly so that they will work. So my display will be on here. I'm actually quite happy that I already know how to work a Cintiq. Um, some people might be very confused when they get a new one and they don't know what, how it works. Since I'm already, I have been using Cintiqs for six years, I, I kind of know the basic of the setup. So I'm going to put up my glove. My little glove. Oh yes. Oh, there's two fingers. I'm used to one finger. That works perfectly. There's a screen protector on here that I haven't taken off yet because I'm not sure. Ah, it is on. Is it working? It can't be working already, is it? Oh, no, it is. It is working. Ah, that was easy. That was way easier than I was expecting. Should I take this off? <laughs> well, it's sticky. All right, so I don't know how much of that I included, but my boyfriend just came in and we took off the plastic of this. There's no, um, there's no extra surface that you can apply that comes in the box, but it is quite rough already, so it's meant to be a, a drawing tablet. I'm a bit nervous about the nibs scratching the surface because you can hear that. Uh, which I hope won't be a problem. I think maybe I just need to start drawing. <laughs> so, as you can see, there's two screens going right now. We have this and we have that. And I usually make my Cintiq my primary so that everything works with this. Uh, and this is my secondary. Um, so I'm just gonna set up everything as I like it and we're gonna try Photoshop. So let's go into Photoshop. Let's make a new paper. And for everyone who's wondering, yes, you can use this with every type of um, drawing program. I'm very, very sure. This is just, this is just um, what I always use. Oh, that's a problem. So when I go over here, that at this point jumps over to the other side of the screen. Do I? Oh wait, you know what? I'm gonna restart my computer because I installed the driver, but it might not be running correctly. So I'm gonna turn off my this one. I'm gonna disconnect everything and I am going to restart my Mac. It is looking real nice though. I just needed to draw. Yay! I was right. I should have done that in the first place. So if it isn't drawing, please restart your computer and I'm sure it would stop drawing again. Zoom out. <gasps> Zoom in, that's well, you can. I'm pretty sure you can put these to be whatever you want. Haha, haha. -ha. It says here what I what I'm clicking at. This eraser tool. That's the brush tool. That's the hand. That's undo. That's zoom in. That's zoom out. Brush size. Brush size. So up brush size. Down brush size. That is cool. Let's see how well it does if I try drawing. All right. I'm giving guess a little bit more of an up close view of what I'm doing and I am going to record the screen so that you can get an even better look. As you can see this is kind of like a very much of a we try as we go kind of review. I like doing that because then I can try things out while I'm filming and you guys can see what, what happens and uh, what problems I run into when I set up this wonderful tablet. So I've just had a chat with my boyfriend. I don't know if I included anything of that but he really likes it he's also been a um, Wacom person for forever I've been using Wacom for like 10 years so I know what's good and what's not and this is good <laughs> for the price you're getting like everything that you need and the size is really good it's bigger than what I'm used to with my little Wacom and I also found the pen, pen tablet settings that I was looking for earlier for some reason I couldn't find them but we did um, through the little manual and it was not very hard at all. So as you can see here you can actually edit your pen pressure, you could do this with Wacom as well but this is perfect, you need this in a, in a drawing tablet, you can even do it with the Apple Pencil for Procreate and stuff. And um, as you can see the, 
the reaction from when you're touching it is not very high. I like to have the tablet react to everything that I'm doing very quickly, so I'm gonna tweak this to... That's probably better for me. That's better. Because I don't like scratching the surface, that's why I like having it a bit rough, like a little bit more sensitive, I would say. There you go. As you can see, it's super sensitive, it's really good, this is better than using an iPad, to be honest. Um, I do like my iPad, but it's just so much easier when you have an actual drawing tablet. Um, the texture is a bit rough, which is really good because it feels like an actual uh, piece of paper. But when it comes to the wearing down of the nib, that might happen pretty easy. I think it might already have happened. But if you custom the pressure sensitivity as I just did, it will make it a bit easier. So, I am very, very happy with this. It's really good. Like, I'm trying to think of some downsides with this tablet, but for some reason, I can't think of any right now. One downside and the plus side, constant. I'll, well, you know what? I will do a constant prose after this. I'm first, I'm gonna draw and I'll write down anything that I feel I need to say. But for now, um, I'm very, very happy and I'm gonna make some art and we're gonna see afterwards what I think. Woohoo! Hello and welcome to the speed paint and afterthoughts section. I will be going through some cons and some pros that I discovered while I worked with this tablet. And since I do know that switching tablets, even if it's a Wacom, an iPad, a tablet from XP Pen, or just a normal drawing tablet, or a display tablet, it does take some time getting used to. Um, it takes some time getting used to the different technology, they all have different settings. So I actually use it for a full week instead of just one time. It actually took me almost half a year to get fully comfortable with working with my iPad, for example. But luckily it was pretty easy working out the kinks and using the XP Pen 16 Pro like any other display tablets I've used before. But if you are new to any kind of display tablets, allow yourself a little bit of adjusting time to get comfortable. To be honest, I might be noticing some of my cons only because I'm used to using my Wacom Cintiq. If you never worked with a different like display tablet for longer periods of time, you might not even notice the things I will mention as they are not crucial to the usability of the tablet at all. So let's start with the cons. The first obvious con would be the pen. You do need to charge it when it runs empty of battery. However, I used it for a full week and I did not have to charge it once. And since you get two pens and two charging cables, you can easily get into the habit of charging one while using the other. Second con is the stand. It has some really cool functions like being able to stand completely upright, but I did notice a few things. You can't lie the tablet completely flat on the table, and this is something I do to change the drawing angle and kind of get my hand comfortable and not strain it. Um, it lies flat enough, but it's still a little bit annoying. Also, the stand itself is sturdy, but the screen kind of wobbles on it, so if you lean on the sides, it makes a squeaking noise. However, the stand is super sturdy and you can push as hard as you want without it folding or sliding. The third con is maybe something that you won't notice or even care about, but I'm going to, going to mention it anyway. The reaction time when I draw small details kind of lags. This is something I discovered very quickly when I started drawing this tablet, and I'm not sure if it's my computer or the tablet, but I suspect it's something that I have to live with if I'm going to continue working with this tablet. If I draw small circles or details, it will lag for a second before drawing the line or the circle. It's not a problem unless you're like me and like sketching super small when thumbnailing and you can always zoom in and out and the problem is fixed. To be honest, I might be noticing this because of other display tablets I've used and it's not really a big deal. You can still draw on the screen and the sensitivity is lush. I even got used to it pretty quickly. And when I was doing the line art, it worked perfectly. It was only when I was sketching. So let's talk about some pros. One thing that I noticed is that the screen is nice and textured. Even though it might be making some scratching noises in the beginning, it actually went away when I edited the print pressure and started drawing. It feels like paper, a little grippy and comfortable, and lets my hand slide easily. The screen is also super bright and very vibrant. I found it actually better than my MacBook at the moment, to be honest. The second pro is the luxury of drawing it on the screen. As you might be feeling, I was so excited when I discovered display tablets when I was only 15 years old, and I immediately started saving for one. Since then, I have only been using display tablets, and I'm not even sure I could use a normal tablet right now because I might have lost my coordination. 
Having your hand in the way when you draw on the screen is something you have to get used to, but honestly, I much prefer drawing tablets, even though the price difference is high. You don't need one, and if you're starting out with digital art, I do suggest starting with a cheap drawing tablet like this one from XP Pen. Learn digital art, see if you like it, if yes, then you can get yourself a display tablet. The XP Pen 16 Pro is everything I want in a display tablet. It has high pressure sensitivity, comfortable pencil, clean and nicely textured screen, and it works as expected. It is a great first display tablet if you want to invest in something a little bit cheaper than a Wacom when you're first going to try it. So please go and try it in the store or maybe get one. It's completely up to you. I love using it. I know that if you have not used a Wacom, you might not even notice the differences that I've been mentioning. Uh, but it works perfectly and I'm so so happy and surprised that there is an alternative to Wacom out there and that is XP Pen. Of course, there's other alternatives to display drawing tablets, uh, but I haven't tested anything else than the XP Pen or the Wacom or the iPad, so I can only talk about those three. And I think the XP Pen works exactly like something that you would expect for a drawing display tablet. So if you have been looking for something to draw on the screen with, this is the perfect first try, first product to try it with before you kind of move up in size and maybe price. But to be honest, this is all you need to start with. You don't need anything else. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be leaving the links to the XP Pen product page so you can look at all these different specs and all the different tablets that they have. They do have cheaper ones, they do have more expensive ones, as all companies do. Um, I'm not gonna personally push you to do anything. Um, this is quite an honest review and I like it. I think that if you have been looking at Cintiqs or display drawing tablets, this one will work perfectly for anything you want and the customer service is pretty damn good as well. So you'll get a reply to anything that you're wondering about pretty, pretty quickly. So guys, let me know what you think and if you would ever actually invest in a drawing display tablet. I am actually really, really interested to know what you guys use. So let me know down below in the comment section and I will see you guys next week. Have a great, great weekend and yeah, I'll see you next week. Bye bye.